Hi everyone, it's me Darlene and this is my third video for today. I did my hair dyeing, I did an easy quilt block and now I am going to work on my crumb quilt and I thought you would like to see what I'm doing, see how much I've done so far. These are the scraps that I just made by doing the quilt block. What is it that I just showed you guys? It I called it Strip Set Frenzy. Very easy block. Two strips of fabric sewn together. You cut them and you can make all kinds of unusual designs. Do go see it. I will have a playlist link down below for all my easy quilt blocks. Always make sure on those quilt blocks that you stay until the end because I do a digital quilt show for you. Give you ideas of how you can twist and turn the blocks to get different designs. Okay, so excited. I think I have four blocks completed and then a lot of pieces put together, you know, to make pretty big blocks. So let me show them to you. I think you saw my very first one, which I do believe was this one. And I also have this one, and this one, with some threads on it, and this one. I love my box system. Oh, I talked to Skyla today. I forgot to tell her I was using her box. And I've got a lot of little pieces started. I really enjoy the little tiny pieces. I can't help it. I do. I mean, I just love putting them together. Some of them that I put together are actually little tiny pieces like that. But I'm getting pretty good at using bigger pieces and making them look like they started out small. And I will be showing that to you guys. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to explain things. You know, when I go to bed at night, that's all I think about is quilt blocks and how to tell you guys the things that I'm doing. I think this bag is all like fairly big pieces that are already put together. You know, things like this and stuff like that. And like, see, this is very near being big enough. So we'll probably work on this one right now. I just need for it to be a six by six. Where's my ruler? It's way over there. I really like that I decided to use a 6x6 six six block because I can, if I can hold it, quickly, you know, measure. Now, obviously, I have way more than 6 inches this way, but I don't this way. So let's add a piece of fabric there. And now I could add something like this. See? You know. You know all the tricks. All right, let me aim you down here and we'll just start sewing. Jeez, I turned the AC off for the noise, but I think it's getting get hot in here. All right, I can sew it on this way or this way. I do know that there's more going on up here, so I'd rather keep as much of this part of the block and cut down here, then that can go to something else. I think I'm going to do this. So let's just put these two together. I have to turn my iron on. Okay, this is going to be large enough to cut. So why don't I make a few like this, you know, finish off some of my sort of big ones, and then we will cut them, and I'll show you the new blocks that I finished tonight. So this is uh, six this way, six plus, and I need to build it this way, so maybe this. <sighs> I do like. And you don't always have to, like, go matchy-matchy. Like, I kind of want some of the green and some of this, so... You know, I'm going to leave some on the edges there, sticking out. Very good. I'll be able to get most of this and some of this, and that will be a cool block. Next. Okay, here's another one that's like long this way, but we need some stuff going out this way. And we probably need yeah, quite a bit. Let's see, what can I put on there? that I would like. Let's try that. Now let's see. Oh yes. We certainly can do it out of that one. See, I like to just work on pieces, little pieces at a time because 
sometimes I'm in the mood to do like big, sometimes little, and then if I work on various pieces at once, they all get a variety, or at least a better variety. I want to use some of this and this, but I don't want this much fabric showing. So I'm going to flip this, but I'm going to put it closer to that seam. See, if I put it up here, where the edge is, when I open that, we're going to have a lot of the blue, which is fine, but I'm not in the mood for that right now. So I'm going to bring it closer to the seam in the middle so that when I open it, see, littler. I like the looks of littler. And I can do it wonky if I want. Let's go wonky. See how that's gonna look? I love when there's just little pieces left, like that little bit of leopard right there. So now, I'm going to cut this off, trim it. Okay, let's fill in this corner. Let's try that right there. I'm going to put that in the corner. And again, when I'm alone, I send a lot through. I do a lot of chain piecing because I just seem to work faster that way and more efficiently, and I save on thread. Oops, let's keep going. Right to there. Now we need to build down here. I have something kind of long. I try not to have the same pattern touching. Again, it doesn't matter. You, you can have anything touch that you want, but I have so many different fabrics available that it's not necessary. Let's see if I put that there. Yeah, let's do it. Should be able to do it. Well, I could straighten that out a little bit. Right like that. You know, sometimes we lose fabrics when we sew things together. They'll get cut off or they'll get lost. That's okay. It happens. Now see, I like that. The purple comes to a point. That's why I like to sew things in all different directions. We are gonna have another one there. So exciting. What do we have here? Not too much left to go? Either way. Should be able to finish this guy. Let's do this here. And also, when I'm not with you, normally before I cut something like this off, I showed you in the previous video, in episode 2, go check it out, I normally put another piece of fabric there and sew on it. Then when I trim this, it's attached to something else. Again, it makes it... Um, it just saves a step and it and it makes it easy. Just so easy. Okay, we need something going this way. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How about I pull something from a bag? Like another piece. Where's the pieces that I just brought in today? Yeah. How about this? We'll bring in the things that I just used. My new scraps. This way. And again, you know, there's a lot of plain color here. I don't care because I only need six inches wide. So it's only going to take a little bit of that colored part, if you can see. And then the rest will just go to another block. Let's do one more. Then we'll wrap it up for tonight because I'm a little bit tired. Okay, I'm going to add a piece to this before putting it on there. Let's add that there. Or do I want it this way? Let's do this way. So, um, just as a reminder, I have all kinds of quilting videos now. And you know what? I'm not even a quilter. Up until recently, I never really made a quilt, and I still don't make quilts. I like to make the pieces, but I don't care to do actual quilting. <laughs> but I like showing you guys things, and I'm having fun doing that. Let's put those two together. So you do need to subscribe. So you don't miss anything. Oh yeah, we know we have plenty of room. Okay, let's go cut these. Can you see? I think you can. Okay, like I said, I want to use most of this side. So let's put this as close as I can to there. And I'm just going to cut up this whole side here. 
This goes back into my stash. And now I just have to line the ruler up to the edge of my fabric because my ruler is six inches wide. Makes it so convenient. Now I need to go six inches in this direction. My ruler is clear so it gives me a chance to see. I think I'm going to try to catch the blue on this side. And we'll just square this baby up. And sometimes it doesn't land exactly where you want. You know, sometimes you lose a color or a piece that you like. But I'm quite happy with that. I do love. What the hell is this going on here? That's a damn near perfect square. <laughs> okay, we made one. And we have this that's going back into the scraps and this and this. And even this. I'll take those little pieces off, but I'm keeping that. Let's do this guy. This one's crazy. <gasps> Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I have to go add some fabric. I didn't see that there was a little indentation there. Okay, I'm going to clean that up again. Cut that under there. Got lots of stuff going on under there. And I know, people tell me, get a spinning rotary mat or whatever you call it. I'm good with what I've got. Okay, we have another block. So we have these two so far. This is such a funky one. Oh, I could go, I could go wonky. Let's go wonky. Another one. Wow, we have three more to square up. Another one. Another one. Last one for tonight. Let's see, I have lots of choices. I'm gonna go right here. And that's it for this one. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six that we finished to go with the four that I already had done. These guys. Do love all of them. All right, that is it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe so you don't miss out. We're anxious to see, including me, what I end up making with this. <laughs> I'll be back with more soon. Bye.